Get up, it's time for you to go to school. It's the last week of school, remember? No. I ain't going, you can't make me, nor Dad, nor Power Zack, nor Wonder Vicky, nor Flash Ron. Dr. Leo, I'm absolutely not kidding. Get your ass out of bed and go straight to school right now. Go to school, go directly to school, do not pass go, do not collect $200. No, I am not. I hate school, especially when it's the last week after Memorial Day weekend. Just let me sleep for another hour, could you? Dr. Leo, I swear to God, if you don't get your ass out of bed and go to school right now, especially when you have a few school days remaining, I will call Sheriff Labrador and even Officer Doberman to bring you to school themselves. Now go, go 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 go. Sheesh. Shush the sheesh! Okay boys and girls, since we have a few days remaining on the school calendar, we have a new behavior system. Every time you have bad behavior, you get a strike. And chances are, when you get 10 strikes, you get expelled. Expulsion evasion means your parents, grandparents, or guardians will lose custody of you and the Child Protection Services will investigate the evasion. If you're wrongfully expelled, your parents may appeal it or you can appeal it yourself. No frauds please, okay? That is so stupid, especially with the fraud alerts. What did you say? Just for that, you have an automatic strike for saying that the strike system is stupid, especially with the fraud alerts, which is now put into place a few school days before the end of the school year. Can I at least go to the lavatory? Fine, just get out of my classroom, would you? Sheesh. You don't have a hall pass. According to East Dravenberg Academy and North Dravenberg Magnet Academy Rule 34 in the school handbook, all students must have a hall pass at all times. And you're the only one who violated that rule. That's another strike. Yeah, two strikes. Back to class, would you? Oh, cherries. Well, Eureka. The stupid hall monitor and the stupid sorceress from Eureka's castle gave me a stupid strike just because I violated that stupid rule in that stupid handbook and I didn't have a stupid hall pass. So, for interrupting class, and for calling everything and everyone stupid, that's two strikes, and stay seated for the rest of class, would you? So class, as I was about to say before I was rudely interrupted, I was going to say today we are learning about criticism. It is the expression of disapproval of someone or something based on perceived faults or mistakes. It is also the analysis and judgment of the merits and faults of a literary or artistic work. What? I am terrible at criticism. Besides, I forgot the 11 tips for giving constructive criticism as well. For talking in class, that is yet another strike. You are halfway to getting expelled. And for having an angry stare, I am giving you yet again another strike. Wow. Six strikes. Knock it off. Well, that is another strike. A few more strikes and off to the expulsion office you go. I honestly don't give two Samsung whistles about what you have to say. Strike one. Stop saying that. This ain't a baseball game, you know. Strike two. You're not my umpire, woman. None of your business. Strike three, you're out. Also, now you may go to the principal's office right now. Whatever. I thought the Toronto Blue Jays never won to the Chicago Cubs in the first place. So, what brings you here now? I got ten strikes. 
It's just like being out for three innings and a portion of the fourth inning in a baseball game. Are you serious? Dr. Leo, I can't believe you've got 10 strikes. And yes, it's like being out a few innings and no, not the fourth inning too, unless you got a dozen strikes in baseball. You lied to the MLB. You lied, you lied, you lied. That does it. Go home right now. You are indefinitely expelled. I do not, will not, could not, should not, cannot, would not, must not, in a million years, want to see your ugly face ever again, especially when there are a few days in the school year remaining. Dr. Leo, we can't not believe you got 10 strikes, like in a few innings but not the fourth inning in baseball terms, and got expelled indefinitely. You are a repeat offender. That's it. You are grounded until you are no longer expelled, which will not expire. So you're grounded until Tails Landium Gardens Culopolis Entertainment moves to a new studio. No baseball, no football, no soccer, no hockey, no rollerblading, no TV, no movies, no video games, no Android, no Apple, no Nintendo, and absolutely no sports of any kind. Ever. That also means no Arizona Diamondbacks, no Atlanta Braves, no Baltimore Orioles, no Boston Red Sox, no Chicago Cubs and White Sox, no Cincinnati Reds, no Cleveland Guardians, no Colorado Rockies, no Detroit Tigers, no Houston Astros, no Kansas City Royals, no Los Angeles Angels and Dodgers, no Miami Marlins, no Milwaukee Brewers, no Minnesota Twins, no New York Mets and Yankees, no Oakland Athletics, no Philadelphia Phillies, no Pittsburgh Pirates, no San Diego Padres, no San Francisco Giants, no Seattle Mariners, and no other Major League Baseball teams, including the Toronto Blue Jays. Now go to your room and stop doing bad things in the baseball community which is our favorite community. I hope the St. Louis Cardinals, Tampa Bay Rays, Texas Rangers, Toronto Blue Jays, and Washington Nationals never win and the other 25 MLB baseball teams win instead. Damn right they do. I second that motion.